I learned about the National Health Service Corps in an ad in the New England Journal of Medicine in 1975. It had the license plates of every state in the union and it said, what are you doing next July? Uh, I actually filled out uh, a form and sent it in and I have been involved with the National Health Service Corps ever since I uh, started my service in uh, Tooele, Utah in July of 1976. No, 75, excuse me. It looked like an opportunity to give something back. And it was an, an interesting time to serve the nation as well. It looked like it was, was interesting. It looked like something that would be fun to do. And uh, these were all volunteers. We're looking for a way to serve their country. And this seemed like a, a great way to do that. Jane and I had gotten married in 1972. We went out and interviewed together, a very receptive community. People welcomed us. They uh, uh, encouraged us to be as involved as we wish to be with uh, local organizations. And we stayed in Tooele for three years. Regional offices play a very important role in the National Health Service Corps at that time, and, and I think are continuing to do so today. When I called the regional office, he said, there's a brand new position that's being created uh, in each of the regional offices, uh, the National Health Service Corps Clinical Activities Coordinator. We want someone who has had experience in the field to work in the regional office, to stay in touch with the clinicians. So we uh, went to the regional office in Denver and basically was in touch with an amazing array of National Health Service Corps clinicians. Absolutely amazing to see the work that each of them were doing in their communities and doing what we could to support them because we knew for each of them, this was a, a new experience uh, which I had experienced firsthand. So did that for five years and, and then uh, received an assignment in Washington to work with the uh, Community and Migrant Health Center program. A stint in the Division of Medicine and then uh, had the good fortune to uh, have 15 and a half years as director of the National Health Service Corps. Having the privilege to serve as the director of the National Health Service Corps was indeed what I said, it was a privilege. And, and it, was, it was such a team effort. It really was a, a National Health Service Corps family. And that was, you know, doing what we could to support people in the field and the impact that the Corps had on people's lives. Uh, I think the term we used was indelibly imprinted. I, I think people just don't forget those experiences. Well, the 50th anniversary of the National Health Service Corps is, is exciting. As you look back, you you uh, admire the pioneers, you know, Larry Platt and the people that had a vision to put together, you know, a, a plan for a program uh, such as the National Health Service Corps, uh, to see it evolve to the numbers that have had you know been imprinted by the Corps and are currently serving in the Corps, I just think it's very exciting because it's a group of people who, who said there, there's a need to be met and we're, we're out there to do that. So it's amazing to reflect back, but it's also exciting to look to the future. I have very much a passion about the National Health Service Corps. It's just, uh, it's, it's what's in the name. It's national, it's about improving health, it's about service, and it's a core. It's a cadre of people that work together to to do some really amazing things. And I, I guess for me, just every time you hear another story, it's, oh my gracious, w what an amazing story this is about someone who did something that went far and above beyond what any program could have uh, wished for or, or, or hoped for. And, uh, and that amazement continues. So.